I now want to look at how I can optimize my alignment. I can do this either by adjusting the horizontal or the vertical alignment or a combination of both. First I'm going to modify the vertical alignment to give a closer match to the ground profile. The easiest way to do that is to move vertical intersection points. Select Move Vertical IP, Apply, click on the IP you want to move and move it up and down accordingly. In certain circumstances you will want to apply a constraint to the IP, perhaps by level or by station. So here I'm setting constraint by level and I'm going to move the last IP point on my railway. Notice how it moves longitudinally but not vertically. And that's helping to reduce the embankment here towards the end of my alignment. Where I've modified the intersection point in the middle of the tunnel, that more or less eliminates the need for the intersection at kilometre 6. So I'm now going to go and delete that intersection point, apply, choose the intersection point and confirm the deletion. And to finish off the modifications to my vertical alignment, I'm going to move the intersection point at the beginning, constrain it to 150, move the intersection point to reduce the embankment height, and accept the result. And that is about as much optimization as I can do by modifying the vertical alignment. However, I do still have difficulties in this area over here where the embankment height is going to be greater than 20 meters. To solve this problem, I'm going to modify the horizontal alignment and move it up the hillside by 20 meters. So all I need to do is use the move horizontal element command to pick up the element and move it approximately two contours up the hill. Notice that the horizontal elements are automatically reconnecting as I do this. When I move the horizontal alignment, the vertical alignment is automatically healed, so that the vertical intersection points are automatically dropped onto the new horizontal alignment or adjusted to give the best fit. So to update my profile to reflect the modified vertical and horizontal alignments, all I have to do is use Evaluation, Profile, Update Profile, select the terrain model and then Apply and now you see the updated vertical alignment with the lower embankment height through this area. And you repeat that process as often as is necessary to achieve an optimized design.